you know, eventually I break down during the show. I feel like everyone's gonna break down during the show. Celeb Secrets is here today hanging out with Brianna Bunovich from E's new hit reality series, Raising a Effing Star. How are you, Brianna? I'm good. Thank you for having me. We'll start with, you know, your reaction to finding out that you were going to be on this show. What were your feelings towards, you know, being on this? I'd say I was like super, super excited. I didn't really think it was real. <laughs> when they called us and they were like, oh, like we want to do a show with you guys. Um, but I was super, super excited, you know, really thankful that I could do this experience with like my mom and my whole family. Have you had to like change any aspects of your daily life because of this? And you know, what has it been like overall? So when I was filming, it was during the school year and I was in high school and it was my junior year. So junior year is really, really hard. Well, it was really, really hard for me, you know, dealing with all the college application. Like it was, it was really hard. So during that I had to film and I also had to miss a lot of school days. So, you know, going back and then catching up was obviously like a lot of work. So I was also really, really stressed during school, but uh, my mom made sure that I was really, really balanced, you know, between filming and my school and then just like, you know, having just peace and like me time. So I'd say that really helped, but I was, I did a TV show when I was 13 um, and I lived in New York. So I was a little bit, you know, used to having the cameras around me um, when I was at a younger age. So I guess that prepared me for this moment. On the show, you mentioned that you used to model for Tommy Ford, H&M. And, you know, was it, you know, I know you followed in your mom's footsteps, but was it her that really got you into it? Or did you also express a passion for it? So I think I started to notice like what modeling was when I was still in the Philippines. So I was like three, about three or four. Um, and my mom was a model there, so I would always see like makeup artists come to the house and do her makeup and I would always be like, someone do my makeup. Like I was always wanting to be a part of that, you know? Uh, so I guess when we moved to the, the US, I was, you know, interested in doing that. So she signed me to be in a couple agencies, you know, managers. I even got into acting. Um, and I, I guess that kind of took off from there. So yeah, just, you know, seeing my mom be in that industry, I wanted to be a part of that as well. From watching, you know, the few episodes that we've seen, we can see that you and your mom have a really, really great close relationship. And then also you have a very big age gap with your siblings. So what's your relationship with, you know, your siblings and the rest of your family like? Um, the relationship with my mom has always been, you know, super consistent, like really, really close, but you know, as her, being my manager also there are some times where we do argue back and forth but i feel like that's normal for a mom and daughter relationship um and my other siblings even though we do have a pretty big age gap that hasn't stopped us at all from bonding i mean we i wish you got i wish the show could show that me and my siblings have the best bond like in the entire world like it's we're just super super close and we always you know see each other every week even if they do live you know by themselves or somewhere else we always come back together always talk on the phone text so it's my whole family is just really really close overall so what can we expect you know from the future of this show you know in general and then also with your specific storyline you guys can expect a couple tears along the way you know eventually I break down during the show. I feel like everyone's gonna break down during the show. I'm just trying to remember what we filmed. It was such a long time ago. Uh, a lot of funny moments, like with my family, you guys will see so many funny moments. And hopefully you guys really just see like how close we are. Like, I really wanted to portray that during the show. Um, and then probably me and my mom arguing about something. As a model, you know, what are your tips and tricks for maintaining a healthy physique without being too hard on yourself? I know like everyone's saying about Pilates. Like, sorry to say, I know everyone's like trending with Pilates right now, but I've been doing Pilates since I was like 12. So, and that's just helped me maintain, you know, my, my physicality, you know, being toned. And I think just walking also is just, you know, it's also really therapeutic, but also burns a lot of calories. And I think 10,000 steps is what you're supposed to have like every day. Is it 10,000? That seems like a lot. I think a little bit less, but I think walking and Pilates is what I usually do. And you know, maintaining like a good healthy meal during the day, but obviously like I'll sneak cookies in, like brownies. Like I love sweets. Like I 
you can't like you can't keep me away from them like it's really hard where do you see yourself in 10 years you know what's a huge goal that you want to accomplish and you know where do you think you'll be in 10 years i see myself you know still modeling um walking for super top designers like versace um off-white i just always loved runway when i was little so i always that's been my goal hopefully starting a business of my own maybe i don't know what that could be in um, music, you know, making more songs, maybe acting in a couple movies.